Hi, everyone. I'm not sure if you all can hear me. Uh, this is Jennifer Candelas. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give uh, other people a few more minutes. Um, there's still quite a few people that need to get online. Uh, so we'll give them a few more minutes and then we'll get started.
Um, can everyone see my screen? If you can see it, please raise the little hand um, icon that you all have, letting me know that you can actually see it. Oh, yay. Okay. All right, um, we're going to go ahead and get started. It's about 6.05 right now. Um, this webinar will be short um, so that you all can get on with whatever you have to do this evening. Um, again, my name is Jennifer Candelas. I am the Product Sales Program Manager for the Council. Uh, located, I am located in El Paso. Okay, all right. Um, so welcome. Uh, you know that you're here for the 2018 Fall Product Program training. We are going to be discussing uh, what your troop proceeds will be, the rewards that the girls will get, the online experience that the girls and the parents will receive, as well as what you as a volunteer uh, sees your level access. Um, we're going to talk about a fall and cookie crossover patch, as well as the important dates that go inside with, um, with this program. Okay. So I want to thank all of you for being on here and for being troop leaders and troop product managers. Without you all, uh, our programs would not be as successful as they are. So we appreciate you and I thank you. Okay. Uh, we do have two themes this year. Um, they are Go Beyond and Soar Above. That goes along with the moose. Uh, the moose names are Mabel and Molly. And then we have Lead the Way, which is service dogs. Um, and you'll see that uh, golden retriever right there. Her name is Lucy. Okay. So our goals, of course, uh, this year are to increase troop participation. And with uh, an increase of troop participation, we would increase the girls participating, the sales, and, of course, community service. You as a product program manager, uh, your role is to pretty much be enthusiastic about this program. Uh, you're going to find out by the end of this webinar that this program is so easy to do. Um, everyone gets excited about it, so it, it's hard not to get excited. Uh, we ask that you do keep open lines of communication, not only within your troop, but with the parents and the council staff. Okay. And then, of course, you will distribute materials and information in a timely manner. Okay. So uh, we want to congratulate some of our top performing service units from this past year. The highest overall sales increase over the previous year went to Painted Desert. They had over $12,000 um, over the previous year. Artesia had 9000 over the previous year. And Emerald, which is in Midland, had uh, 8,000 over the previous year. The largest percentage increase in girls selling went out to Artesia. It's amazing. They had 131% more girls selling than they did in the previous year. Um, Andrews had the highest increase in average units sold by girls. And then Artesia had the highest increase in average dollars sold per girl. And of course, they had way more girls selling. So way to go. All right. So as I stated, it's very easy to participate. Uh, the girls can participate in two ways. They can either sell online, uh, selling nuts, chocolates, uh, and magazines to their family and friends, or by in person with the nut order cards. They can do one or the other, or they can do both to increase their sales and it, their incentives. It's just that easy. All right. It's 
again, it's all about being a, a GIRL, a go-getter, an innovator, a risk taker, and a leader. And of course, our program helps uh, the girls learn valuable leadership skills. The troop does earn, if it's a new troop, you earn startup money. And then if you're an established troop, of course, you would earn more money for your troop. The program does help us sustain and expand programs overall our entire council. Um, what's in it for your troop? So what is your troop going to get from selling uh, fall products? you will earn 15% of all nut, chocolate, and magazine items sold. So we have uh, any, our products are usually anywhere from six to $10. Uh, we were kind of doing the math on that earlier. That ranges anywhere from 90 cents per item to $1.50 that you get per item that's sold, okay? Um, so that's of everything that you do sell. And of course, magazine items are more. Some magazine subscriptions are worth more. So you would actually end up getting more than that $1.50 for those magazines. All right, what's in it for your service unit? Um, we didn't use to give service unit proceeds for fall product. Um, we used to only give them um, some for cookies. But now, two years ago, we actually started giving it to the service units. What they earn is for every troop that has a total of $1,500 in sales or more, the service unit will get $10 for every one of those troops. Okay. Um, what you will be receiving, of course, is the girl nut order cards, printed materials for the girls or parents and the troop. Um, sorry, you're on the your guys are on the computer, so you're not going to get any samples to taste. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the training kit, of course, does include our the envelope and everything that's in it, and like I mentioned, all of the important dates. So what is going to be in the envelope that you're going to get? Um, this is what our envelope looks like, first of all. It is a double-sided envelope. Uh, we always brag about the fact that fall product is so easy that all you need is that double-sided envelope. You don't need anything more than that. Um, You'd be surprised. There are some councils that actually use 20 to 40 page manuals, which is really insane to me because it's, it's very easy. Um, so on the front of that envelope, uh, you'll see my information right there in the middle. Uh, an online resources section uh, for any help that you might need. And then all of our important dates are right there on the front. There's some general information on Ashton Farms which is our nut vendor, and then M2 Media, which is our magazine vendor. Okay. And then at the bottom, it does remind you that your troop does earn 15% of the total dollar amount sold. Okay. On the back of the envelope, there's some information on a new thing that we have, a troop leader or troop product manager incentive, uh, which we'll talk about more a little bit later. And then just a checklist of what you would need to turn in at the end of the program. So inside the envelope, um, you will be getting parent permission forms. These are one per girl. Uh, it is a duplicate copy. So you would keep the yellow, or you keep the white, I'm sorry, and you give the parents the yellow copy. This you would need, if, even if they have two girls, they need to fill one out per girl. You would keep these white copies. You do not turn them into the council unless at the end of the program you have a parent who has not turned in money for that girl, then you would actually submit this to us along with a discrepancy report. And I'll talk about where you can find those in just a little bit. Um, you will find some green Money Matters flyers. Uh, this lets the girls know um, kind of in a way how to handle money when they're collecting. And it gives them an example of how a check should be written if they have a customer that gives them a check for the product. You will also find um, flyers for M2 Media Group. This actually gives the girls step-by-step -step instructions on how to go online to set up a storefront and sell nuts and chocolates to family and friends that may live in another state, uh, another city, um, anywhere else uh, that isn't close to them. 
My suggestion is on step one, before you hand these out to the girls, is please write in your five digit troop number. You'd be surprised how many girls do not know their five digit troop number. So uh, they will need that information for when they go online. So try to write that in for them. Uh, you'll also get um, money envelopes. This is one per girl. You're going to get uh, money handling procedures. This is a two-sided page. It is a little bit more in depth um, on some of our procedures. And this is for you as a troop leader or a troop product manager. Um, you're also going to be getting uh, receipt books because, of course, we are going to be emphasizing receipts for everything. Okay. Um, also, you're going to get, um, you will be getting, I'm actually going to send you this form at the end of this webinar, a pre-order form for our new gluten-free cookie. I know it isn't cookie season yet, but we do offer a gluten-free option. Um, however, these are made in a smaller facility that um, only makes a certain amount each year. They do not make more than that. So we cannot reorder these anytime during the cookie sale. We do have to pre-order them. The pre-order is actually due by September 20th. Uh, you would just need to email it to me uh, to make sure that you've reserved that amount of cookies that you might need. As I stated, it is a new cookie. It is not the trios. It is caramel chocolate chip. It comes in the same stand-up bags like the trios did. They are still $5 per package. So it's um, there's 12 in a case, so it's $60 for the case. Um, what can I say about these cookies? These are a soft cookie. They are really amazing. If I, you know, truly amazing. I cannot even begin to tell you how good these cookies are. If any of you are signed up for volunteer conference, we will have some of these to sample at volunteer conference. Okay. Also in that envelope, I don't have a picture of it, it or what you will be getting at the end of this uh, webinar is a true product position form. I will need you to fill that form out and email it back to me as soon as possible. That is how we will give you access to the system uh, so that you can manage all of the girl orders. All right. All right. So on our website, we already have some printed materials or um, program materials that are available to you. Uh, there are by age level. And then, of course, we do have gold charts that you can print out as well. You would just need to go to the fall product tab. And then down at the bottom, you'll see the resources that we have available for you. Okay. Um, we also have rally guides. So if you're in uh, one of the outlying areas, you will be able to print this out. Um, so in case your service unit or your troop wants to do a rally just within your, your area. We no longer have trios, Maggie. The question was, uh, will we need to order trios at the same time as the new caramel one? We no longer have trios. It is now the caramel chocolate chip cookie. Uh, no more trios. They're gone. Okay. Um, hold on one more second. Oh, yes. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. So Ashton Farms, as I mentioned, is our nut and chocolate vendor. Okay. Um, they are located in Waukesha, Wisconsin. They've been working with Girl Scouts for about 25 years. Uh, this is what some of their facilities or what one of their facilities looks like. Uh, they love to brag about their shiny floor. They say that it's not greasy or anything. It is just that clean. Um, they love to get visits from councils. So if you ever decide you want to take the girls on a trip, you know, this may be a good place to go. Just call them up and let them know. These are their facilities. They actually have three facilities that houses all of their products. The one on the top left is actually just a Girl Scout facility where they hold all of the products that they make for us and, uh, and do all of the shipping from there. The one on the top right is actually a chocolate factory where they make their own chocolate here for our products. And then the bottom one, of course, is another one of their facilities that houses a lot of their other um, fundraising things that they have. 
Um, again, this is what their facilities look like. Uh, they do have state-of-the-art equipment that is able to make the product uh, much faster so that it does come out fresher to you. Um, I believe they can make them almost like, I don't want to say instantly, but you know, rather quickly, a um, lot quicker than they used to in the past. So the, so the product isn't just sitting there on shelves, they can actually make it almost as we need it. All right. So our new uh, tin this year is the Girl Scout Vintage Camera Tin. It is really cute. Um, it has a little strap and everything. Um, that one will have our individually wrapped mint treasures. Okay. We brought back the uh, holiday tin. So it does have a polar bear on it and it will have caramel treasures, which are also individually wrapped. This one is actually new to our order card. We didn't, it used to be available online, but now we have it available on the order card for anyone that might need this. These tins are great uh, gift ideas for teachers, bus drivers, you know, anyone that you want to show appreciation to. These are great gift ideas. Okay. Um, Ashton Farms does have three new items. I am going to be mentioning those three on the next three slides. They are available online only. Uh, they have almond butter cups. This is for anyone who may prefer the taste of almond butter um, or someone who is allergic to peanuts. Uh, this is a, another option for them. They have buffalo ranch pretzel mix, which has cashews, almonds, and then chunks of pretzel. Uh, comes in a stand-up bag. And then seasoned dry roasted almonds. They have these in a, a pop-up can like all the, the rest, most of the rest of our stuff. So all of those are really good. Online only. All right, so this is what the girls nut order card will look like. It does have all of the things that we will be selling, which are the mint treasures, caramel treasures, honey roasted mixed nuts, chocolate covered almonds, whole cashews, dark chocolate caramel caps, Pecan clusters, the English butter toffee, peanut butter bears, dulce de leche owls, chocolate covered raisins, uh, salsa mix, dark chocolate mint penguins, fruit slices, butter toasted peanuts, and cranberry nut mix. 90% okay. uh, of our sales do come from in-person sales. Um, you know, we love our online sales, but more of it does come from in-person. Because as we've always, you know, we like to give an example of, it's, it's really hard for somebody to say no when, when the Girl Scout is standing right in front of them saying, will you please help me reach my goal and order from me? So, all right. We do have a Care to Share program for fall products. Um, it is on the order card. So there are two spaces down there. You'll see uh, where the little arrows are, which is Q and R. Those are where a customer can donate $6 towards either a nut or a magazine item. Um, that is in case a customer may not want uh, to eat chocolate or anything. They just don't want to. So this is another option that they have. Uh, what will happen is, is that those items, since it's not as large a scale as cookies are, these nut items will be delivered to the service unit to be delivered uh, or to distribute among the troops uh, that had those those items. You all can decide as a troop individually or as a service unit where you want that nut item to be donated to. So you can pick any organization that you want or you can give it to the military. That's entirely up to you all. The nut item is honey roasted peanuts that does come in a can. Um, the donations towards the magazine subscriptions, those will actually be delivered to me here at the council office. Um, and then we actually send those out through Holloman Air Force Base to be delivered to our military overseas. Okay. Um, if a girl gets six donated items, she will earn that Care to Share patch that you see right there in the middle, or kind of not exactly the middle, but right there. Um, it can be any combination. So if she had three magazines, three nut items, then she would earn it. Or two and four, it's any combination that she has. As long as it equals six, she will earn that patch. All right.
So Ashton Farms does have 19 items uh, that they sell that are gluten-free. So as you saw earlier, we have 16 items on our nut order cards. Online, there's a total of 26. So all of those 16 plus probably about 10 others, okay? Um, and the items do actually say whether they are gluten-free on there or not. Even on the order card, it actually has like a GF that says gluten-free. All right. So when are the service units going to be getting their deliveries? The deliveries will actually take place from October 22nd through the 26th. That's in, across our entire council. Uh, what will happen is they will get um, separated and then the troops will be informed that their products are ready to be picked up. So they would need to come in uh, and pick those up. Make sure that you do have someone on hand and ready to accept that delivery. If you aren't able to come, please make sure that you do have a backup plan um, so that someone else can come and pick it up for you. And of course, remember, we live in the desert, so uh, chocolate does melt very quickly, so keep it in a cool, dry place. All right, um, you will be ordering by the piece. So this is not like cookies where you order by the case. You are ordering individual pieces. So you just tally whatever the girls' um, columns are. For instance, um, they had orders of like 10 salsa mix. That's all you're going to order. You don't increase it. You don't do anything. It's just buy the piece. And then, of course, we'll be counting. You count to make sure that you are getting exactly what it is you ordered. Um, and we will issue receipts. So we count, you count, and then when you give it to the parents, you will count, and then they will need to count. And um, no, we do not have pickup times. Um, the question was, do you have pickup times more or less? Well, no, we don't because, um, like I said, they get delivered to the service units um, and then we will separate those and then let you all know when they're ready. Okay. Um, as I stated, receipts for everything, product, money, and incentives when you give those out. Okay. So our banking procedures. We, the council does take out our portion uh, of the proceeds via ACH. If your troop sold cookies and you have an ACH on file with me, you do not need to fill out another ACH form. Okay. However, if you are a new troop or you have changed bank accounts, um, you will all, everyone will be getting an ACH form at the end of this webinar, but only those that are new or have changed bank accounts will need to fill that out and submit it back into me. Okay. Um, Make sure that you are depositing money into your account regularly as the girl gives it to you. If you get any NSF check notifications back from the bank, please make sure that you notify me within seven days of that notice of the bank. Uh, that way we're not trying to take out money uh, from your account that you don't have. And then discrepancy reports. I mentioned those earlier. If you have a parent who has not paid in full for, for whatever it is that the girl um, sold, you would need to fill out a discrepancy report, which is available on our website under the fall product tab, along with the required documents that it asks for. So you need to turn those in to me by November 12th so that I have time to adjust your final amount that's owed to the council um, and I can let finance know. We will ACH your bank account on November 30th. That's when we take out the council proceeds and we will leave in whatever the troop profit was. Um, that gives you plenty of time to make sure that you do have all of that money in there. It is only one ACH that we take out for fall products. It is not as large a scale as with cookies. Okay. All right, so Juliet procedures, I know most of you all are troops, but if you know of anyone who wants to sell as a Juliet, make sure that uh, you let her, that they know her, if you know her, uh, let her know to contact me. I will have the parents actually fill out a parent permission form and then I will hand that over to our nearest uh, retail office coordinator who will act as the point of contact for that person. They will turn in everything for her, um, the order cards, the, um, 
the retail office coordinator will let her know when the product is in. They will pay that um, shop person and then they will get the recognitions from them once everything has been paid. Okay. Um, Juliet's do not get profit for their sales. Um, however, they do get, they can uh, request for financial assistance for anything from uniforms, membership, and programs. Okay, but they do get incentives for their sales. All right, so when can your girls start selling? Girls can set up their websites and start sending out emails and begin uh, selling in person and online August 31st. That is this coming Friday. Okay. Um, the order cards and girl orders are due to the troop leader on October 7th which is, it's just a little over a month that the girls do get to sell. Okay. Their online sales will actually continue for an additional three weeks. So they have three weeks to collect more sales and earn more incentives for those sales. Okay. Um, your troop orders are due into the system October 8th. Um, as I mentioned, October 22nd through the 26th is when uh, we'll get all of our deliveries in. Girl money is due to the troop on November 9th. Okay. And then, as I stated, uh, discrepancy reports November 12th, and we will ACH on November 30th. All right. So the girl incentives or girl rewards that the girls will be getting. This is on their order card so they can see exactly, they can set their goal by whatever level they want to reach. Um, everything that is on this page here uh, is for all accumulated sales. So it doesn't matter if it was online or in person, it will all count towards these items that are on this page. Okay. Um, let me say something about a couple of these items. The, big blue thing at the bottom, that's an inflatable lounger. That's one of those where the girl has to run around and catch the air in it. I laugh about this because I'm like, oh, she has to run around and then try and like zip it up or whatever it is really fast before the air comes back out. <laughs> um, and then the circle one, the very last one right there is actually a beach towel. It is not a tablecloth. Okay. Um, it is a beach towel. But of course, like I said, these account for everything online and in-person sales. Okay, so we also want to encourage girls to sell online. So we actually have incentives for just online purposes. So everything that you see right here deals with all online sales. Um, and they, everything is cumulative, but on both pages. So if, for instance, a girl sells 36 items online, she would earn everything that's on this page as well as it would put her here on the 30 plus items where she earns that jelly slime. So it's kind of like she's earning on both sides for her online sales, okay? All right, so this is a new thing. Uh, for fall product, we never usually receive a giant animal. Uh, much to my surprise, this giant moose showed up at our office. She's actually sitting in my office right now, just kind of staring at me. Um, so we were trying to figure out, well, what do we do with this giant moose that we have named her Jalen? She's named after last year's top fall product seller. Um, so we've decided we are going to hold a raffle. Any girl who sends out 12 emails or more will get her name into the raffle just one time. It doesn't matter how many more than 12 she sends out, it's only one entry. And yes, uh, Rose, Jalen is very soft. And, and she gets a little heavy too once you have to carry her around the office. Uh, but yeah, so the girls will get one entry to win Jalen. And then you can probably rename her if you need to. <laughs> Uh, but she is really huge. And if you'll notice, there's a foot down there at the bottom. That is actually our HR person holding Jalen. So you can't even see our HR person. That's how That tells you how big Jalen is. All right. So as I mentioned, we have something this year called the Sparkle Club. Um, we kind of borrowed this idea from the uh, council in Colorado. 
So if your troop sells $350 online during the fall product program, your troop will get an exclusive booth selection during the 2019 cookie program. So what that means is, and don't write these dates down because they're not set in stone, if, for instance, we say, okay, everyone is going to choose on uh, January 10th, then your troop would actually get to choose prior to that. Um, so that's why we say exclusive. So you get to choose prior to other people. Um, then, if you have a 375 per girl average during the cookie program, both the fall product manager and the cookie manager will earn a Pandora bracelet. Okay, it is a two-part thing, so you do have to qualify by selling the $350 online and then for fall products, and then for cookies, a $375 per girl average, then both of you would get a Pandora bracelet. If you are the same person, you will only get one bracelet. So try to make sure you have two people listed uh, one for each uh, program. Okay. The Pandora bracelet does not look like the one that's shown. It will actually say Sparkle Club on it. It will have GSDSW. And then it will have the mousse for fall products. And it will have a narwhal charm for the cookie program. Okay. Uh, one question. Uh, the question is, is the 350 online for the whole troop? Yes, that's correct. It's for the entire troop. So pretty much what that means, uh, well, I'll tell you what that means a little bit later. But yes, $350 online for the entire troop. Okay. And this is an incentive for you all because we appreciate everything you do. So we kind of wanted, you know, to show you a little bit of appreciation. Okay. All right. So the next part, I get really excited about this one. Anyone who has sold fall product in the past knew that we had to actually um, go into two different systems. We had Ashton Farms Nutty, where you would put in all of your nut orders. And then we had the M2 system, where the girls would create avatars, and the troops could just kind of go in and look at whatever the online sales were. Well, this year, we only have one system. It is the M2 operating system, which is the M2OS. Everything will be done in this system. So you only have one login. Um, and let's say, for instance, you are a parent and a troop leader that goes in there. You would just toggle between the two, the two different pages. So you only have the one login. Okay. So no more nutty. We don't have that. Um, the next thing that is new and and I know some of you are going to be making faces, but I'm glad I can't see those. <laughs> um, the next thing is, is that parents will now be able to enter the girls' in-person nut order card sales into this system. And I know some of you are cringing at that thought, but hear me out. Um, as I stated, girl orders are due uh, November 7th. Okay, which means that you still have the opportunity to pick up those nut order cards um, and you can still check the parents' information. So what happens is if the parents go in, they can enter the girls' orders. Um, of course, they do tally it at the bottom. They will be locked out uh, by 10 p.m. on October 7th. Then you, if anyone, actually, if any of them try to go in after that time, it will instruct them to contact you, okay? In your system that I'll talk about in a little while, you will be able to go into each girl's individual uh, paper orders, which they do talk to each other, so you, it gets updated in yours as well. And you can go verify that each of those parents put the order in correctly. You can edit any girl's orders um, or add or whatever it is you need to do. So you do have access to everything that the parent has done. Okay? So it's a good thing. Yes, it's always mountain time. Because um, I believe they told me that it was like 11.59. It would be cut off like at 11.59 uh, Eastern, which is 10 p.m. our time. So that's when the parents do get locked out. Um, 
the parents, their um, sales report will link to yours as well. Um, and they will get reports at the end uh, from the system telling them exactly how much money they owe to the troop. Okay, so that's pretty amazing. Um, they actually piloted this program um, with other councils. They've been doing it for about three years now before they actually approached us with this. Um, they started out at 50% of the parents entering, and now they're up to 85%. So what that really means is that 85% less work that you all have to do. Okay. All right. So the online experience that the girls and the parents will have. Okay. Uh, she will, again, with that flyer that you hand out with the five-digit uh, troop number on it, it will uh, bring them to this page once they enter that website. If the girl has already been here before, uh, or the parent, they can actually log in. There is a login button. They can use whatever password that they had before. If they forgot their password, there is a space for them to click that says, I forgot my password, and they can reset it. If they're a first-time user, they would click here on the register. And of course, this is in English and Spanish, so they can do either one. Uh, it will ask the parent for their zip code. The reason for this is that they want to make sure every girl is registered within her own council. You'd be surprised. Um, there's a lot of parents out there that don't even know their own council name. So this zip code validator really helps with that. Then the parent will have to go in, uh, put in their information, their email. They'll create their password. And then, of course, they will agree to the Internet Safety Pledge. Then it comes time for the girl information. It is going to ask for her five-digit troop number right there on step one. If she doesn't know it, that's fine. There is a space that says, I don't know or see my troop number. They would just click that little box, and they can still continue. Okay. The second step is going to ask her for her name and then her nickname if she uses a nickname. The third step says, what does being a Girl Scout mean to you? Uh, what is my goal? And what does the troop plan to do with the money earned? All of that information will actually appear on her storefront for her customers to see. Okay. Then she can start creating her avatar, or her Me Too is what they call it. Um, somebody that it looks like her. So that just last year, they had just over 3 billion different avatar choices. This year, they have close to 4 billion. Every year, they are adding new features. Um, they do want every single girl to be able to create an avatar that looks exactly like her. Um, so if you know of any girl that can't create one for whatever reason, make sure that they let um, the M2 customer service people know, which I'll, you'll get their information in just a little while, um, so that they can uh, look into it and they can add it. This year, I know that they've added moose antlers, moose slippers. They still have bunny slippers from last year. They still have the tiara, sparkly flats. I believe they added green converse this year. And they also added a hajib where the girls have to, like the ones that have to cover their head, they actually added that in there this year. All right, so the Me Too also will have the ability to speak. So a girl can record her voice uh, where that message will be delivered to anyone that she sends emails out to. Okay, and the mouth of the avatar will move. And then, of course, she earns virtual rewards for everything that she does, like creating her avatar, for sending out emails, for um, uploading videos and selfies. Uh, she can personalize her campaign by adding a selfie if she wants or a video. However, the selfies have gone down a little in popularity because girls love the way their avatars look and they would prefer to have that on there. Okay. Um, she'll be able to share her campaign. Uh, she can do this by uh, sharing it on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Each of those links does have to be shared separately, so her magazine store or her net store. Those do have to be shared separately. Okay. And then, of course, she can send out the emails to family and friends. 
Um, all of this so that she can earn a personalized patch. I'll give you the criteria for that in just a second. But when it comes to a personalized patch, the parent or girl will have to put in their own personal address. Not the address of the troop leader, not the address of the office, because uh, these go straight to the girl. Okay, She can actually choose her name uh, for the patch, a nickname, or her initials, and it will ask for that. So what does she have to do in order to earn this patch? Okay. She does need to get online. She does need to create her avatar, of course, because we cannot create an, and we cannot send an avatar patch without the avatar. Um, she'll have to send out her 12 emails. And then all she needs is 175 in online sales. As I mentioned earlier, that 350 for the Pandora bracelet, all that is is two girls that reach their goal for these online sales, and you meet that criteria for that Pandora uh, bracelet. Okay. Um, the girl will be able to choose between her uniform or the GIRL t-shirt. Then she will get to choose which background she wants. So she can choose the mountains, the city, she can be at the beach, or at Juliet Gordon Lowe's birthplace. So four different choices for background and then two different choices for the wardrobe. Um, M2's goal is pretty much to have the girls totally customize their, pack, uh, their patch at some point, which would mean the background, the, um, what she's wearing, everything. Okay. Uh, Carla asked, it won't be combined with cookie season this year. We're not at that one just yet. We're talking about fall products right now. So I'll talk about that one in just a little bit. Okay. All right. So the girls' campaign headquarters looks like this. Uh, they will get to see where she is towards reaching her online goal. Uh, you'll see right there, there is a space for her to manage her paper orders. Uh, she can see the view, view the emails that have gone out. Um, the sales reports, a personal flyer, and business cards. And then down at the bottom, she'll be able to see her Me Too's room and then any of the um, awards that she may have earned. She can also see who the top sellers in her troop are as far as online goes. It will just have the picture of their avatar. It will not have a dollar amount. It would just have their pictures. All right, so this is what the business cards will look like uh, if they choose to print these out. Uh, the only thing on here, it doesn't have the girl's personal information. The only thing on here is, of course, is her avatar. It won't be the one that's shown here. It will be the one that she actually created. Um, it gives the uh, customer the steps. So in other words, they enter the website that's on there on step one. On step two, that is her own personal code for her storefront. So when they enter that code, it takes her takes them directly to that girl's storefront. Okay. Um, this is really good in case they have someone who um, may be interested in magazines, but of course it's not on the order card. It doesn't really show them everything. She can hand a business card and say, here, when you get home, you can go online and look at everything. Or if they have a customer that says, no, I don't really want to order right now, she can say, okay, well, here's a business card in case you change your mind later on. Um, I've heard that some girls leave these at other places. Um, they leave them at stores and things um, so that they can actually pick them up. So if a store or whatever gives you um, permission to, then yes you can um you can do that all right so then um girls will also be able to view uh what rewards she's earned on this site now um once she has earned that reward there will be a banner that goes across it saying that it's been earned if there is a choice involved which usually means like the t-shirts or the hoodies um, the parent will actually get an email telling them that a choice needs to be made and they need to go in and make that choice. They will continue trying to contact the parent until a choice is made. 
but once the deadline for the parents um, ends, then they will contact the troop leader to make that um, to make that choice. All right, so this is the Me Too's room. Um, you can see right there all the different virtual rewards that she's earned, as well as a troop photo. Girls tend to look at that troop photo because they want to see, they can see what the other girls in their troop look like. But I've heard that the main reason they go here is to see what you guys look like. They want to make sure that you create an avatar that actually looks like you. So make sure that your avatar looks exactly like you. <laughs> All right, so this is what it looks like when the parents will need to enter their nut orders uh, for the girl. It will list the items down the same way that they are on the order card. So all they would need to do is, of course, tally them on the order card. They go into each one and they can tab between them and then just click update at the bottom um, once they've finished. And then, of course, they can update it up until October 7th when they're locked out. Okay. Um, the parents can also um, hang on one second. I have someone who can't hear. Um, okay, so they um, can view reports. They can look at all of their total sales, um, or they can just look at all um, online magazines, online nuts. Um, yeah. There is a new feature that we are adding this year that we will actually be sending out um, instructions on a little bit later. The girls will also have, or customers will also have the option of having the online nut delivered by the girl, okay? Um, this sounded a little scary to me at the beginning, now not so much because what will happen is that it will not give them the option of paying for that online, so the girl would have to collect the money from that person. That's how you would know that these were done uh, as an online sale, which kind of helps, you know, because a lot of people complain about the shipping costs. So if it is somebody that you know in, in, that lives near you, then they would have that option, okay? So the girl can actually see what uh, online nuts were orders that she would need to have delivered and uh, collect the money for. Okay. Um, the customer emails. This is what it will look like. Um, so the customer can choose on here to go to her magazine store or her nut and chocolate store. And of course, after they order, it will offer them to go to the other one. So every at every point, it gives them the option of the two stores. This is what her storefront looks like. It, again, it does show a default video. If she uploads her own video, it will actually show here. Her avatar picture is there. It shows where she is towards meeting her goal. And then the paragraph that she created earlier saying, what does Girl Scout mean to me? Um, what is my goal? And what is the troop uh, going to do with the proceeds? That will all appear on her storefront. Also, it will show who her top supporters are. So when a customer orders online, it will ask them, do you want to be listed as a top supporter? If they say yes, their name will appear on here. A dollar amount will not, but their name will. Okay, so when they go online um, and they live out of state or whatever, it will ask the person, of course, for their order. Then it's going to ask for all of their information, the shipping address, everything like that, and then the customer will pay for it online. So you all do not handle product for this or the money. It is all done online. All right. So your access as a volunteer. Okay. Um, once um, later this week, you will be getting an email from M2 Media. Um, and, and you don't have to get on there like immediately before the sale starts. Um, that You don't have to do that. So even if you get it Friday or Saturday, you're still going to have access. You'll still be able to go in there. Um, as I stated, you're going to get an email from M2 Media Group. Uh, will look like this. If you've been on here before, you can use your same login as before. 
uh, if you're new to it, you will be prompted to create your password and everything on the site. You are going to be asked to watch a seven and a half minute video at that point. This video cannot be rewinded uh, or fast forward. It can't be exited out of and you know think it's gonna go away. You can't log out and log back in thinking it's gonna go away. You have to watch that seven and a half minute video. It will take you step by step through all of the links that are on your campaign for your troop. Okay. Once you've watched the video, it will be on your dashboard in case you ever want to go back and look at it again. Okay. Uh, then you will be able to create your avatar that looks like you. Okay. And then uh, you can add parent emails. You will want to do this because this is a second way that the parents will get a link instructing them on how to participate with their girl. Okay. Um, which again, it is really amazing. So the parents have two ways of going in and uh, participating with their girl, either through the flyer that you hand out or this parent email launch. But I would say a higher percentage of parents may go in through the email. Okay. All right, so this is what your campaign headquarters will look like. Uh, you'll be able to see how many avatars were created, photos and videos uploaded, how many emails were sent out, um, and then this is where you can go to delivery tickets, your paper order entries, all of that stuff that's on this uh, headquarter page. You'll be able to send out emails to uh, the parents in your troop. You can send it to the entire troop or you can just pick certain people that you need to give information to. That's entirely up to you all. All right, so um, again, when I mentioned the entering uh, in-person nut orders, you will be able to see all of the girls that have sold uh, or have put in their orders. So give them a chance. You do not have to add the girls' names right away in this system. Give them a chance to go online and do all of their online stuff. Um, then once you've picked up those order cards, you can go into each one of these girls' names and you can verify whatever the parents have entered uh, and edit if you need to. If you've gotten through every one that's listed, but you have several order cards still in your hand, don't worry, you can still add that Girl Scout's name. The little pink button at the bottom says add Girl Scout. She may not have wanted to do the online part, so she only has the net order card. That would probably be why her name doesn't appear. All right. So then uh, you can run reports. Again, you can see all the online magazines, nuts, the paper sales, and then of course the online um, girl delivery option. You'll be able to see that one as well. Um, this shows you exactly. The only thing with like the paper orders, when you enter those, it won't have customers' names. Whereas on here, it may, it will have that. All right, so how do you, as a volunteer, earn your avatar patch? Okay. Again, you get that email from us, you go in, you create your avatar. All you need to have is $350 in total online sales. So again, remember, that was the same criteria for the Pandora bracelet. So you qualify for that and you qualify for this patch. Okay. Again, that's just two girls earning their patch and you get yours you can actually have up to two people in your troop listed and both of you will get this patch. Okay. Uh, again, you will have the same choices as the girls as far as wardrobe, um, hair, everything, all the accessories and the different backgrounds. Okay. All right, so the fall and cookie crossover patch, I'm not sure if this is what you were talking about early, Carla, but um, the girls have a second avatar patch that they could earn. This one, they do need to participate in fall product by actually creating their avatar and sending out 12 emails for the fall. Then during cookies, they have to have a 375 packages sold during the cookie season in order to earn this second patch, okay? So any of you who may have girls that earned it last year for this past cookie season, you should have already gotten that. If not, you will need to contact M2's customer service line to see uh, what's going on. Okay. All right.
So as I stated, uh, they have the ability to earn up to two different patches. During the fall product, all they need to do is create the avatar, send out 12 emails, and sell $175 online, and they earn the fall product personalized patch. For cookies, of course, they do need to participate in fall product by actually creating the avatar, sending out the 12 emails, and selling 375 packages of cookies, and they will earn the second patch. This information is on their order cards, and it is also on the flyer uh, for when they uh, go online uh, to set up their storefront. Okay. So remember, when you get the email from M2, make sure that you do log in, you watch your training video, and you create your avatar. Send out that parent launch email. That's a great way to get the parents to participate uh, in addition to that flyer. And then, of course, remember, you don't have to add all the girls at the beginning. You can wait till the end of the sales so that it gives the girls that opportunity to go in and um, do their online store and the parents to enter their stuff. Okay. So this information you will want to write down, M2's customer care information. Uh, they have a 1-800 number there as well as an email, which is question at gsnutsandmags.com. You would need to contact them for anything that has to do with this system. So if you've forgotten your password, you need to reset anything like that, you need to contact them. I do not have the ability to reset passwords. Um, and then if you have any issues as far as product goes, things like that, you contact them. What would happen is if you contact me, I would need to contact them to get an answer. Then when they answer me, then I answer you. This way, you're kind of cutting out the middleman and going straight to the source. They are really good at answering very quickly, um, and they're amazing. So if you need any help at all during the sale, you would, of course, review your troop envelope. And then this training PowerPoint will be on our website um, tomorrow. If uh, you still need help at that point, you can contact any one of our retail office coordinators or the shop, Andrea in El Paso, Danielle in Las Cruces, Yvonne in Midland, and Amy in Odessa. You can contact any one of them. If you still don't have the answers you need, you can contact me. And of course, my email will also be on that uh, big envelope that you get. And of course, you'll be getting an email from me in a little bit with all your paperwork. So does anyone have any questions at all right now uh, from what we've gone over? I mean, if you don't have any questions, uh, you can go ahead and start logging off. Just wait for me to send you that paperwork. Uh, but if you have any questions at all, just let me know. Oh, you're very welcome, Leilani. Uh, Maggie asked if we wanted to list two product managers, how do we do that? Well, the paperwork that I send you in a little while, uh, you would just need to print out two copies and both of you submit it to me. You're very welcome, Laura. Um, the envelopes and everything, you would need to contact either one of your shops uh, or you can, I mean, if you're in the El Paso area, you can come here and pick it up. Um, if you're in an area that's not close to a shop, just email me, let me know where you, how many you need and where you need it sent, and I will mail that out. Um, if you're in Odessa, Vanessa, you can go to the shop, and Amy has all that information. Um, how do you know which girl send the 12 emails for the raffle? You would actually be able to see how many emails each girl sent out in your um, campaign headquarters for your troop. Yes, the envelopes will have the order forms, all of that stuff that I mentioned. You're welcome, Vanessa. You just, uh, Georgina, you just come to the office to pick it up. Um, they will have it right there at the front.
Oh, you're welcome, Rose. Uh, the question is, can girls do both order cards and online sales? Yes, they can do both. Jacqueline, um, I'm going to be sending out the forms that you need to fill out. Uh, once you've filled it out, you just email it back to me. Um, unless you're within the area and you can drop it off at the at the El Paso office, if you're not near El Paso, then you would just email it back to me. Oh, you're welcome, Ronnie. You have a good night, too. Yes, uh, Vanessa asked, is there a way to keep track of both? You can actually see on your campaign headquarters you can see all of the girls, each girl's individual online sales, uh, even down to what customers ordered from her, and you can uh, see what her paper orders were. You can see everything from your, from your campaign. You're welcome, Sunny. You're welcome, Jacqueline. Are there any other questions? If no one has any questions, you can all start logging off. Yes, Maria, you do get credit. I do run an attendee report at the end of the webinar, so I do know who was here. Vanessa, uh, what was, let me see, hold on, let me see. I'm going to unmute you, um, Vanessa, let me see if it'll let me. Oh, no, you're self-muted. I don't know if you want to unmute yourself and ask me the question or if you just want to ask the question in the question box. Okay. I can't hear you if you're asking. Okay. So, yes, I did answer that question that you can run reports for each girl that shows what her online and order cards are. But, of course, you would need to pick up those order cards um, to know exactly what customers she had because um, when you enter those order cards online, it won't show who the customers were. All right, any other questions? Jacqueline, are you in the El Paso area? Yes, Vanessa, this uh, PowerPoint will be on our website uh, after tomorrow. Uh, just go to the fall product tab and it, it will be on there. Um, Jacqueline, just come into the El Paso office and pick up that volunteer patch. You're welcome. You have a good night, too. You're welcome. All right, so if no one has any other questions, I'm going to go ahead and log off so that I can send you all your paperwork.